Hello, Phil and James here at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland have just lost 1-0 to Hull City. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of your questions. Phil's going to start off. Uh, these came to us on Twitter. Phil, what have we got? Who have we got it from? Uh, let's start with a fairly obvious one, I think, from at Akko16. He says, what's changed since Beal arrived? How is he an upgrade? Well, I think the first thing I would say is it's... <laughs> It's really, really difficult to improve on what Tony Mowbray was doing with this group of young players, in my opinion, given some of the deficiencies we know in the squad in defensive midfield up front. And so I feel like he's been on a little bit of a hide into nothing. What I would say is, is that in terms of have we seen, you know, he's now had a couple of weeks with his team on the training ground. Have yeah, we seen yeah. improvements? We haven't. I think, if anything, they've actually got worse in the final third. I think there's obviously been an effort to try and tighten things up. Um, but actually, I think it's taken away from the team. And to be honest, the big question when we said when Mowbray left was, can someone come in and get a tune out of these strikers and make something more clinical? Well, they've gone the other way. Yeah. But I would say that's not all on Michael Beale. I think almost trying to put him out there as an upgrade on Mowbray, put him on a hiding to nothing, I think. And I think the people you know who made that decision have got to be accountable for that. Yeah, uh, I think one of the things I, was, uh, I would add is that it's always very difficult when your sporting director says he's observed some of the best coaching sessions he's ever seen and then Sunderland don't perform on the pitch. It just set the expectation really high. Yeah, didn't it? and I think also as well, you know, in the first few games, I've got, I've got, I think you almost have to write them off with Bill because he had so little. I mean, bringing him in over the Christmas schedule, you yeah, know, he, he had yeah. no training time. The last couple of games, I think you have to say, have been different because he's had a full week, yeah. and so it's his sort of game plan. And we saw tonight that there were some kind of his tweaks with Neil pushing further forward, and actually the press to start off with was pretty good, and I thought they created some openings. But then after that, the intensity just disappeared. And you know, let's be honest, they should never have lost that game but they didn't do anywhere near enough to win it it was too pedestrian too one pace too predictable yeah. really really poor right next one so this one's from Christine Smith who says no shape playing with no right side of the attacking player killed us tonight shape just not right discuss completely agree I think obviously this is another one where Beal's got a bit of an issue at the moment Agilise going down no fit left back that is always going to cause you a problem with the balance of the side I think we have to say that but I thought a really strange decision to have him put Seal in at right back which I could sort of understand he did okay there but then to leave Pritchard off the right, I thought it just made something so one-dimensional because we all knew that everything was going to go down the left-hand side with Clark. Fair enough, the first sort of few minutes, Pritchard picked up some nice little pockets, came in field. Um, but I totally agree. I thought that was that really didn't work, especially in the second half when I thought it was just so predictable. And yeah, I can I sympathise with them in terms of the left backs being injured, but that was a strange call. I, I feel like they're trying for attacking fluidity in a sense that Pritchard was was coming into the central attacking midfield spot, and then Job or Rusin would then drop into his his position. But for whatever reason, it's just not clicking at the moment. And you know, so they're missing Patrick Roberts as well. That, that we didn't he's mention. a big miss. We we talked a lot about Roberts. Sort of, I know he hasn't scored or assisted this season. But when he's not playing, my word, you see. What oh, he absolutely, absolutely not. So who we got next? So this one's from Mike Smith. He says, "Why have Job and Equa suddenly turned into backwards, sideways, slow pace, lack of passion players?" Well, listen, see, I, 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 I disagree I, with that when it comes to Equa because he tried to play the ball forward numerous times, and I, and, and ended up losing it. On I think I think both Jobs are the same. Personally, I think the work rate from both of them is absolutely fine. I don't think that's an issue. I just think I think Job is tired, to be honest, personally, and someone might I, disagree. I, agree. I see signs of fatigue in his decision making. I think that he doesn't release the ball as quickly as he did in the in uh, the start of the season. I don't think he's getting in the box as much as he did. I think that's just fatigue. I might be wrong. Equa again, I don't think it's a problem with work rate. It's just not his position. I just don't think he's a defensive midfielder. I don't think he's got that tenacity and he doesn't necessarily have that physicality. I just don't think it's his natural game. I think he wants to get in the final third. He wants to carry the ball. He wants to to get up the pitch. And for me, please just sign a defensive midfielder and well, release yeah, Equa and Neil. Exactly. It's, it's just not working. So I think, I think the point is a valid one in that I don't think either at the moment are at their best and I don't think they're contributing to Sunderland winning games. Um, but for me, it's for me, it's a tactical thing, and, and I, personally, I, I, th I think Job needs a bit of a rest. I also think it's very hard to hit Rusin. I was in favour of Rusin's start, but it's very hard for your centre midfielder to hit Rusin when he's up against two centre backs, and Hull really defended quite tight and you know congested the pitch. It, it's very difficult for even Daniel Equa and, and Job to to find Rusin at times. Sunderland tend to have most of their joy out wide, and then if goals don't come from those areas, it's it's a struggle. Yeah. at the moment yeah listen um, this one's come from numerous Twitter accounts does bail last the season listen I, I think that ultimately someone gave him a two and a half year contract it's not a short term deal they obviously believe in him I, I don't think he was necessarily their absolute first choice but um, there's a reason they gave him the job I do think he lasts the season I think someone just sort of backed themselves in with this one and I yeah, think they'll I give him time um, 
obviously the sort of unknown factor is how does, how bad does the mood of the club get if results don't turn um, and that's a that's a great unknown but I think it to be honest it reminds me a little bit when Phil Parkinson came in not a hugely popular appointment um, but I think that the club will, will probably be quite stubborn and, and you know to be fair Bill you know deserves a bit of time to turn around results but it does remind me of the Parkinson appointment particularly because I think now that you know the the manager changes as it did I think with Jack Ross that season people begin to realise that actually there's a lot of things we need to discuss at this football yeah, club yeah, yeah. the recruitment the ownership um, so yeah it, it reminds me of, the, of that spell a little bit and I do think Bill gets the season you know rightly or wrongly um, but yeah I obviously that if something continue to fall out of playoff contention which they're in danger of doing then, then all bets are off I guess but I, I think it's unlikely I've got a question for you Phil is Jan and Bria coming back? Uh, well, we just asked. <laughs> I just asked Michael Beale there. I think, let's be honest, it probably wasn't the perfect time to, to discuss transfer. And you didn't business. get a very long answer. But he did also say that he'd not discussed it with anyone at the club, which would suggest that it's highly unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. More good news for our for our watchers. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this <laughs> six-minute celebration. I think should we call it there because we'll it's now it pa past eleven, and yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah we're knackered. Thank people you. have already missed the traitors for that dreadful game, um, <laughs> so we'll let them catch up on I play and crack on it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for watching. You can find all of our content over at the Sun and Echo website, socials, online, YouTube, all of that good stuff. Thank you once again for watching.